Hello everyone, my name is S. Kaxmi Amaral and I am a research scholar in the discipline of computer science. I have a passion for the subjects of physics, mathematics and I have a passion for teaching as well. And so I'd like to make use of this platform to share my knowledge and hone my skills of teaching. Today I'd like to present my understanding of the solution of a polynomial function with visualization. In this, I'd like to explain the concepts of set, relation and function briefly and from that I would like to develop onto the graph of a function and the solution of a function. We know what a set is. A set is a collection of well defined elements. We have two examples here, set A and set B. Set A is a collection of four numbers namely 3, 2, 1, 0 and we have set B which is a collection of again four numbers namely 6, 4, 2 and 0. We know what a relation is. Here we define a relation between two sets A and B, which is denoted as R A related to B, where elements in A are associated with elements in B. And we understand what a function is. A function is actually a relation with an extra condition that every element in set A has exactly one element in set B. So this is a relation. And this is also a function because every element in A has an element in B. Whereas this, if we establish a relationship like this, where 3 has association with 6 and 4 of set B, this is a valid relation, but this is not a function. Because element in A has more than one association with the elements in B. And so, this is not a valid function. Similarly, this is also not a valid function, but this is a valid relation because elements in A are left out without having any association with elements in B. So, this is a valid relation, but not a valid function. Hence, a function is a relation, a more stricter relation in which every element in A has exactly one element in B. What we have here is a function that we have discussed previously. Function f defined over set A to set B. We call this a function because elements in set A has associations with elements in set B and every element in set A has exactly one corresponding association associated element in set B. So this we call it as a function and if you observe the relation you can observe that elements like 3, 3 and 6, 2 and 4 there is a mathematical relation between them that you can observe that 6 is twice as that of 3, 4 is twice as that of 2, 2 is twice as that of 1 and 0 can be expressed as twice as that of 0 and hence the relation between set A and set B can be expressed as a polynomial, an expression, an algebraic expression in which if you consider every element in set A to be x, that is if x belongs to A then f of x is equal to twice as that of x in for which f of x belongs to B. So this is an algebraic expression, a polynomial representation of this function and if you collect all these values in order pairs then such a set you will call it as the graph of a function. So graph of a function G is a set, it is a collection of elements of x and f of x collected together as this 3 and 6 collected together, 2 and 4, 1 and 2, 0 and 0 collected as ordered pairs. So this is a graph of a function. This is a visualization of a previous function where f is a function defined over set a to b for every element of x in a there exists an element in b such that the relation is twice as that of element in a and you can graphically represent that function using the graph of the function you have already gotten the coordinates or the ordered pairs which are more like the coordinates that can be plotted on a graph 
but if you simply directly plot those values on a graph considering elements of set A to be elements on the x axis and the elements of set B to be elements on y you will plot 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4 and 3, 6 but if you extend that function to be a function over real set that is set of real numbers which extends from minus infinity to infinity for the same relation that is f of x is equal to 2 of x where x and f of x belongs to r then you can draw a straight line connecting these dots so what you'll get for y is equal to 2 x is a straight line passing through the origin here so this is how you visualize a given function over its defined set now we are going to find the solution of this function. The solution of any given function, you will call them as zeros or roots. Already we have expressed our function in terms of y. For simplicity, we shall take y to be f of x. And so f of x is already 2x and so y is now equal to 2x. So how do you find the zeros or roots? You can find the solution of a given function at y to be 0 that is the solution exists at the x itself visually you can understand it this way the solution of this function exists at a point where this straight line intercepts with the x-axis you can visually see that this straight line intersects with the x-axis at y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 and so we are trying to solve that algebraically where you equate y to be 0 so that you make 2x to be 0. If you try to solve this 2x is equal to 0 algebraically, you will bring this to the product to the other side where it becomes 0 again and so the value of x is 0. So y is 0 at x is 0. This is what you will observe on this graph. We again have the visualization of the solution of a given function. It is just the same function f defined over a to b and the relation is f of x is equal to 2x. We already know the solution of a function is called zeros or roots of the function. And what do you exactly mean when you say solution of a function? Solution of a function is an element in set A such that its associated element in set B is 0. So, our objective is to find the value of x at which f of x is equal to 0. Visually, you can see 6 and 3. 3 is not the solution of the function f is equal to 2x because its associated element in b is not 0. Similarly, if you consider 2 and 4, Obviously, 2 is not a solution of our function f is equal to 2x because 4 is not equal to 0. Similarly, 1 is not a solution of f is equal to 2x because its associated element in b is not equal to 0. But if you consider the element 0 in a, it is a 0 or a root of the function. So, it is a solution of the function because its corresponding associated element in B is 0 and hence the element 0 in A which you can write it as x is equal to 0 is a root or the solution of the function is a root or solution of the function f of x is equal to 2x. So that is how you interpret the roots or zeros or solution of a given function.